in addition to my ads for event responses, there's another thing I can do to promote my event. So what I've got now, I made several videos advertising the events on my page. So I've got these videos where I can advertise them and then I can get people to go to my event from those videos. So now what I want to try, in addition to the event join ads, I want to also see if I can advertise the videos and get people to go to my event for there. So what I'll do to do this, I'll create a new ad campaign for this because I can't find a way where I can promote these within the event join. What I can do on this is use a boost post ad. So I'll show you how I make these. So I go over to page post engagement as the campaign objective. I select that and then I pick a post out that has a link to my event. So I go down here and then I use this. So then I call this uh, Black Ops 3 Post Event Promotion April 22. So I hit continue. So this then will be a very focused campaign with just the videos in it. And now on the targeting, I want to do this based on the most accurate I can find. So for this, I'll do two types of detailed targeting. I'll do Call of Duty. I want people that are both interested in Call of Duty on here, and I want people that are also on Xbox One for this. So I just want to try and get this out to that audience. So I've got Call of Duty on here, and I've got the developer of the game, and then I hit Narrow Audience, so then I can put Xbox One on here. So I've got that there on the event now. And I've got a much more narrow audience for this. And I've seen that most of the ads are working on the 18 to 35 men. So I can just put 18 to 35 men. Now you'll notice that doesn't narrow my audience down a whole lot. And I can actually include women in here also because some women are responding to the event. I can see the different costs if I hit men. The costs go up a little bit, so I can actually do this to just men because I'm advertising the event to women on the event promotion. So now I've got the name on here, and then I can put Call of Duty videos. Or I can even split this by individual video to see what works the best. So I'd really like to do that. So I'll put the budget down to $5 a day on each of these videos. And then I can base this just on the actual video it's on. So I can put US COD Xbox One, and then I can just name it based on the video. So I go over here to continue, and then I can go back to, now that I have the video name, I can go back and put ugly, I can put one word to signify what I'm actually using on it. So I've got, there I have this post now with the link to the event and my Twitch channel, and I can then track conversions if I want from my Facebook pixel on my website. So now I've got these ads set up with a link to my event. Now for this, I want to remove desktop right hand column because that's not likely to get anyone to the event. So I've got this up, so I can then place order on this, and then I can do the same thing with my other videos. So then I can continue on this, and then I can go through and click Change Ad Set up here, create a new ad set, and then all I have to do is change the title of the vi or the actual post I'm using with it. So I select a different post on here, so I go down to this post, Make sure it's one that has an event. So then I can go back to here and call this strong finish. And then I can click continue. And then I'm expecting a lot of these might not work well. And I'm also expecting that one of these might work way better than the other. So I try each of these. I'll create similar ad for each of these. I hit continue then. I'll change the ad set on this one and go pick another new post on this one. So I go over here, and then I go up here, I scroll down, and then I know this one's called my camping spot. So then I go down here and just call this camping, and then I hit continue, 
and then place order on this again. So I create similar ad and this, I've obviously put these videos up beforehand and I can actually pick the post right here to skip that last step. So I can scroll down here and this is these are all the videos I have for this. So I hit continue, I change ad set, create another new ad set and then I call this one Mothership and then delete that, hit continue and then place order. So now I've got all these different ads created. I would hit continue and then I go back up to the campaign. So now I've got four different ad sets for $20 a day advertising a video. Now this is likely to get my event out there for the absolute lowest cost. Also it has a video with it and then I can try each video individually. And what I can do then I can customize columns on this. Once it runs, I can just delete all these other ones and then I can go over here and put event responses, cost per event response, and hit apply. So now I can look at these specifically by how much it costs someone to actually join the event. So even though I'm running these as page post engagement ads, and I'm using a video, I can track by event response on these ads with custom column. So I'm excited to give this promotional strategy a try and compare it with the direct promotion of the event itself. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this is useful for you and giving you another way to get your event out there. I would think this would be really useful if you're promoting a local event especially.